Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. I hope you guys are doing good and you're probably wondering why am I dressed like this with my little headband and everything that I would normally use for skincare days, right? But today what I want to do with you is show you how to put on your makeup in less than 30 minutes maybe 15 minutes and be out the door. And so it's a really quick in real time, let's put on makeup type of video. Okay, so if you're interested, please do stay tuned. Okay, welcome back my beautiful wildflowers. As I said, I'm gonna show you how to quickly put on your face and be out the door. And sometimes those things are really useful and it will not only be appropriate for going shopping and just hanging out, but also for work. And so, I, you know, I figured things out as, you know, life happens. And I remember when I'm running late, a little bit late for work, I need to throw my face on really quick. But there's certain things that has to just go on before I leave, like my eyebrows, because I have none. So anyway, before we get going, I want to go ahead and share with you our affirmation. And today it will be, she believes she could, so she did card, okay? And so let's see what we have. Okay, this is a card that says, okay, there it is. Again, I want to make sure I don't get the glare. It says, um, it's by Misty Copeland. Be strong, be fearless, be beautiful. Be strong, be fearless, be beautiful. And uh, you know what this reminds me of right away? Our wildflowers. They are strong. They can withstand, I mean, any kind of environment. They're on the side of the freeways to middle of nowhere. And they're fearless because they just stand up so proudly and, and they just stand there through rain, through all kinds of drought and everything else, right? So they definitely, wildflowers are fearless and be beautiful and you guys that that doesn't need to be said right wildflowers are so beautiful and they stand out there resilient resilient and strong and they show their colors and when you're driving along a freeway of you have nothing on either side all of a sudden you see a field of wildflowers and you just it just takes your breath away and it just makes it so much better you know that you're on this trip because you see this beautiful field of wildflowers that you didn't expect and nobody's tending to them remember nature is tending to them and yet they stand there strong fearless and beautiful and um, this is the reason why i call you guys beautiful wildflowers right because i want you to take those traits and make it yours you are a beautiful wildflower each one of you out there and you just have to be strong you have to be fearless and you are beautiful and so make sure that you remember that through the days when you have a rough patch and say okay i'm fearless i know i have to do this it's a little scary but i'm gonna be fearless and get through those fears and i'm gonna stand strong and proud because this is the right thing to do okay very important always push for the right thing to do there might be some consequences but if you're doing the right thing and you're doing it in the right way you gave it your all and this is what's you, you have to be able to look at yourself in a mirror and at the end of it no matter what the outcome you can look at yourself in a mirror and say i really tried okay so again be strong be fearless be beautiful okay that's that and speak of that speak of beautiful uh let's see today's going to be a really simple makeup day and matter of fact i'm going to skip the foundation why because you don't need foundation if you have tinted moisturizer and here's uh this is my favorite tinted moisturizer and also this is the um uh, spf so it's, it has spf 46 and you know i've been having some issues with um maybe it's because i'm not wearing my glasses it just looks like it's um not focusing but there it is and it's by dermatology and quickly what i'm going to do is i just shake this up it doesn't say you have to shake it up but i like to because you never know if it settles right 
I doubt it because I use it every day. But before I do that, I'm gonna get my hand wipes. Well, it's actually a makeup remover, but I don't use it for that because I only wash my face and I don't use these wipes. But I use it actually because I got it and I can wipe my hands with it. So I just squirt a large bit of it. And I may be looking over to the left a little bit because I have my mirror here. And so I'm going to go ahead and use that, except for this is a magnifying mirror, so it's like huge. And I just go ahead and put this on. Usually I will put this on earlier, okay? But I wanna show you the whole thing. So, and because I do like to let this kind of dry down. I already have a layer on from this morning, but it's been a couple of hours. And you know, you should replenish your sunscreen every two hours if you can. And this is a good option. And also, if you put on a full you know, face of makeup and you're like, oh, but how do I put on sunscreen then? They have such thing as spray sunscreen, okay? They have a, um, uh, let me see. I believe um, almost all of these sunscreen companies do come spray, but be careful not to get it in your eye. And there's also um, a company, a makeup company that makes it. And I actually have it over there, but it's actually a setting spray. Okay. Make sure you get on your eyelids as well. And here we go. Mm-hmm. And if you have tinted moisturizer or tinted sunscreen, it is plenty good enough. Because that's actually what the tinted moisturizer is designed to do is to blur your imperfections. It may not cover it completely, of course it doesn't, but actually I like this because it gives it a more of a natural look to your face um, because you can see your little freckles and everything else. Now I take my wipe and I just wipe my hands because it is tinted and there is like, you see, you get these. So you don't want to continue without wiping your hands. Otherwise everything you touch is going to get kind of, yeah. And so, and what I do is I do that. I make sure I close it. I grab a tissue, dry my hand. And next, what I need to do, this is gonna be a little bit difficult to do, but I will try it. Okay, I need my eyebrows, okay? This is um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is what I usually use, which is the pomade. And if you use a pencil, that's just as good. And let me see if I can pull off this magnifier. <laughs> so what I do is I just um, comb my brows up with the spoolie and I will grab this like this and hopefully my mirror isn't kicking up any um, kind of reflections or anything. I know people are bothered by that. So, okay, I'm gonna put this down because my hand is a little bit moist. And I just quickly draw, follow my natural lines. And sometimes using this right after um, the sunscreen and not letting it dry down, um, it's a challenge. So you might wanna let it dry down. But what I would advise you do is uh, while you're still doing something else and not yet putting on makeup, then put on your sunscreen and your tinted moisturizer, okay? Hold on one sec. Okay, one thing I failed to grab is a little Q-tip because I do correct my, um, my eyebrows with this. And like I said, it shouldn't take that long for you to do this, but because I'm not in my optimal seating area, it's gonna take me maybe five minutes longer than I normally would. So, you know, if you would just imagine, it's five minutes less than what, um, how long I'm actually gonna take, okay? Because um, otherwise I would have my mirror, you know, on the side of me. And as you notice, my makeup table is behind me and I am on the um, actual recording desk. And so, and this is tricky while you're talking. Some people has that, got that mastered and I'm, I unfortunately don't because I have to like do things quietly. And you're like, you do things quietly? How? Yeah, because I'm never quiet, right? Okay. Okie dokie. And let me just draw my little tail here. I think that's gonna be good enough. Like I said, this is very simple and you just, you wanna do this and be out the door. I just wanna make sure they're at least even, okay. Okay, my big mirror is actually over here. And what I do with my Q-tip, okay? And I will go ahead and clean this up real quick. And I think that'll do, right? Yeah, 
Okay, and that's that. Now, now what I'll do with this brush is go ahead and uh, rub it onto the um, the makeup remover cloth here. I Yeah, I don't just use it for my hands. I just actually use it to clean my brushes along with it too. Why not, right? Okay, and next what I will do is the, believe it or not, eyeshadow. I wanna make sure when you put the um, sunscreen on, you're gonna have a little uh, line, so make sure you rub it in, okay? And what I do is I usually use a stick and this will be a Bobbi Brown Dusty Mauve color, and it is a um, cream stick. And you can use um, the Laura Mercier, the caviar stick as well. And what I do is I simply take this and I just kind of like draw, okay, like this. And that's it. Okay, like I said, this is gonna be very short, but effective. Okay, that's that. I'm not doing anything fancy, not doing any creases. That's all it took. Pick a nice light neutrals or something like that, which will be helpful. And then next I will curl my eyelashes, okay? And this is my Refer Eyelash Curler and I just love this thing. It's just like so good. It's the best um, eyelash curler that I've, I've had. I mean, it's just shaped so well to my eyes. So yeah, and now I will take my MAC mascara and swipe some mascara. And it's up to you if you want to um, do your bottom lashes, but be careful when you do that because um, especially if your um, sunscreen hasn't dried down, it can actually rub off. So. That's why I like to actually let the sunscreen uh, dry down before I do that, okay? And now I'll do this side. Ooh, there's, I, got, I got a glob, okay. And that, another thing too, somebody said to me, you switch hands. You can do your left hand as well as your right hand. Usually you know how people cross over or they do, I, I don't know what it is that they do, but they cross over. But I am ambidextrous actually and um, the reason why is because when I was uh, a child, I was born left-handed. My father's left-handed. But in Japan, because of the stroke and the direction of the lettering, and we did a lot of calligraphy as children, you can't do it with your left hand. The strokes just wouldn't work out. So, yeah. And so my mother trained me of my right. But I still do, like, sometimes, like, throw things with my left, bang things with my left. So, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, that's that so far. And next, I'm gonna jump in with blush. Okay, and I'm going to use my uh, Charlotte Tilbury and this shade here, I believe it's medium, it is. There you go. And I'm just gonna use my refer brush, my refer angled brush, okay? And this is zero 04, right? Yep, zero 04 refer, okay? And I'm just gonna swirl it in here because you notice it's got the dark and the light. I just do this and quickly. And I don't actually put on my um, my blush like way down. Um, yeah, I just don't. I just tap it up here. I even come close to the eyes. At this point, you know, I could have actually put on, um, uh, what do you call that? Concealer, but I decided not to because I don't think I need it today. And so I'm just gonna tap this on. And I like using tappy motions, especially because it hasn't dried down yet. Yeah. And so let's see, oops, sorry about that. I just wanna go ahead and make sure it's even. And I don't come all the way down or up down here, okay? Because I want my cheek to look like it's a pie, not, you know, dragged down. So I just do this. Okay, and just rub this on the cloth, okay? And I just slide this. I always protect my brushes with these, okay? Especially my real um, real fur, <laughs> it's not fur, it's hair, okay? And um, then what I'll do is I will use a highlighter just because I don't have to, but I'm going to. Again, Charlotte Tilbury, the highlighter, okay? And I'm just gonna go ahead and this, I'm gonna go ahead and um, tap, but at the same time, you, I have to do it like that. And then next, 
I'm going to do my Cupid's bow. And as you notice, it, it really does uh, shine. Okay, that's that. And the final touch, okay, I'm trying to put this back here. The final touch is going to be the lipstick. So when you're doing a look like this, you don't want to do anything like red matte. I mean, unless you're going to take your time and put it on, and that takes me forever. And so instead, what I do is use something that's glossy and that's neutral in color. Um, that way, if I make a mistake, you're not going to be able to tell it, especially if you're in a hurry. So I'm going to use my, um, let me see, Sh Chantecali. Okay, and this is, uh, let's see, what is this? Tromboli. So there it is. It's very glossy and it's well used. And I don't even need a mirror for this. I'm going to, you know, but I'm going to look over here. Uh, and that's it. So I will be right back. Okay, here I am. And I did not adjust anything on my face. Only thing I did was put on my scarf so you can see the final look. As you notice, it looks very natural. And definitely, if you look at the um, eyeshadow, it's there. It's faint, but it's actually very natural looking. So you can go to work looking like this. You can definitely go shopping looking like this. And so, yeah, and if you want to darken it up a little bit, change the shades, right? Uh, use browns instead of the mauve that I use. Use a coral for your cheek for pop if that's what you want to do. But the whole point is you can get ready really quick. And as you saw, I mean, it's not a 40-minute ordeal, and it's very quick. And another thing, like I said, it's quicker if I was in recording. If I was just putting this on, 10 minutes, I'm out the door. Okay, and so keep that in mind. So every time you put on your makeup, it doesn't have to take an hour. There's a quick way to do it and there's no blending. Like I said, that's why I love these sticks for times like that. And I have a whole handful of these and I do use them. And so yeah, keep a couple of them in your purse and you know, something for touch up later on. That's another thing. I mean, this isn't like powder where you have to sit there and blend, but if you need to touch it up a little bit later, you just pull it out of your bag and just kind of draw it in your eyes. So yeah, that's that. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. And I know you guys are looking for more makeup videos and I thought this would be a good one because no foundation either yet. I mean, this is all it takes, guys. It doesn't have to be a whole face full of, you know, foundation. Matter of fact, you know, I, people tend to like this look a lot more than the overly made up look. I know definitely men do. And I know my husband likes it when I look more natural than, you know, I'm walking out to, I don't know, I plastered makeup all over. So, yeah. Okay. If you find value in this, please do hit like. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you like this type of content, please do subscribe by hitting the subscribe button, ringing that bell, and selecting all so you know every time I upload a new video. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, I want you to have a good day, a good night, a good week, or a good weekend. It doesn't matter when you're watching this, but remember, in a field of roses, be a wildflower and never sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.